Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it's time to play. We're back in Fortress Craft Evolved. Let's pick up where we left off. I think last episode we saw that I was not a <laughs> was not able to pick up a smelter after I placed it because I needed an improved build gun. Well, I went and got the stuff that I need. Went and uh, produced a bunch of secondary upgrade modules. Again, these are made from nickel and man, they take forever. We'll see when we automate what the process is there, but Man, it takes a lot of material and it takes a lot of time. Plus, I don't have the uh, nickel automated. So I've got to go all the way down to minus 400 to go pick it up by hand. That's a little tedious, but I got everything I need. Let's go ahead and craft the build gun V2. Boom. Crafting. Okay, that ate up all the titanium housings I had made too, but that's fine. <clears throat> and I think, do we have to put this in our suit inventory? Let's try it there. See if we can save a space. Boom. Check it out. It looks a little different. All right, let's head down and pick up where we left off last episode. We were working on setting up a smelting operation for tin. Here's our room in the distance. Always kind of foggy here as the game, I guess, loads in. Here we go. Boom. It's kind of where we left off. Here's the center of the room. Just a marker for now. That'll take that up in a little bit, maybe. I put some lights in here. Uh, you have to kind of experiment with the <laughs> with how many lights you need. It was too bright when I had all these rows here, so I actually took out a couple rows and then took out a few lights here and there. This isn't too bad. Doesn't seem like it's too hard on the eyes. Here's where we left off. We put uh, a couple smelters down. I think I'm going to leave those right where they are, actually, even though I've got the build gun now where I can pick them up. I think I'm going to leave them where I placed them. See, so I get this guy back down here. Boom. Because I actually kicked out the room two more blocks. So I widened it by two blocks on either side. Again, this should be mirror image. I think we're right in the middle of the doorway here with this divider. So what we need to do now, uh, I guess we could probably put another Arthermic generator here. And then let's put storage hopper. I can pre-fill this with a bunch of um, infused coal that I have on me. Boom. So I think that'll stay that way. Under here, you might remember, this is where our tin is going to come up. We got a little logistics grommet there. Ready to receive tin. I'll put this belt back on top. Like that. Like this. And then comes through, hits a turntable. Fills these two hoppers. These should both be remove only. Looks like they are. Yeah, it says it right on the front. Into the smelters. Logistics hopper behind the smelters. Put one here. Boom. This should be, I guess, an add only. And that one's already set to add only. And down comes our tin ingots. And we'll find a place to um, store them. Down on the fourth floor. I'm going to call it minus 40. And then we can just repeat this whole setup and scale it up if we want. We'll see how much we actually need. Um, we'll start small. We may even use this side of the room initially for like copper smelting. We'll see and then maybe convert it over to just a single ore. But right now we're not going to need too much space I don't think for this. Let's go down and route the tin up here. We've got it already being mined and stored. Let's see if we can get it on this belt. We gotta go down to 30. Might be... I'll have to think about maybe just putting stairs next to these or something. But I guess once we have it set up, uh, it's kind of set it and forget it. Once this is set up. Alright, here we are in 30. This is where we're going to route material. Uh, over in this direction, you can see the footprint of our room. That is the doorway for the airlock. There's our logistics grommet that wants um, tin. So I'm going to go ahead and put bring this wall down a bit. Uh, maybe just a little. We'll see how we end up routing it. That's where it needs to go. And now we need to get tin from storage up to this floor. Uh, we have that set up. Where Do we know where that is? 
Ah, uh, we put holes in the ground and some light lights. Let's go down and just orient ourselves and see where we've got all that tin stored. Tin ore. Down here somewhere. It is way off that way. And I think we punched a hole in the ceiling. We can do a little more, maybe. So this is easy to find. And the output, I think, is on this side. Right? Yep. In fact, it looks like there's some work being done above. I see a work floor excavator up there dropping rocks. Let's put a light or a torch right here and see if we can find that. That's where the tin's coming up from storage. We'll have to try and remember that. General direction. I'll be over this way, right? I hope. Yeah, there's the guy that's doing the excavating. Is it underneath something? Nope. <laughs> it's right here. All right, so here's where our tin comes up. I guess we could... Oh, and it's needed right here. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's going to work for us pretty darn good. Let's grab some reinforced block don't have to use this, but I'm just kind of standardizing it. And it's handy, especially since we've got these excavators going. Uh, I think I want to go up towards the ceiling with this. Help our excavator out and do some of this by hand. Any of the rock that we collect will eventually probably convert it to construction paste. So it never hurts to have some of that in inventory. Uh, let's try here. Oh, man. Not bad. Okay, we want to hop into that logistics grommet. So that means a belt. Like that. And I guess we could hug the ceiling. Do this. Let's try that. And then this stuff going to come up. More, maybe. Okay. That's facing up. Yep. So we'll use this little build to me trick here to bring that down. We got a couple more we're going to have to but Good. I like it. We can put a little sign here. This is tin. Tin from storage. Okay. And then once we're up there, we need a belt. We need to make our way over to this this guy. Hopefully I don't fall down a hole when I'm looking at the ceiling here. Boom. That is that. That is the belt for tin into the smelting. Whoops, I knew I was going to fall into a hole. Looking up at the ceiling. Here's storage. Let's head back up. I can find the stairs. This way, I think. Just want to put another sign down. More camo bots. They're all over the place. See, the belt's not saturated because our little unloaders from the mass storage are kind of slow. We could add a third one to deal with that, or we could upgrade 
eventually we'll get to doing both of those things. I'm just going to grab a sign here and label this. Right there. Boom. This is tin. I'm going to call this smelting. I could have labeled this tin ore from storage too, but let's try that. Then we can always hit the Z key and see it. Tin ore to smelting. That might come in handy once this uh, third level here, minus 30, is just loaded with belts all over the place. May have a fair bit of belt spaghetti just consolidated onto this floor. Let's go up and see if we're getting it and if it's being smelted. Back to 20, there's our room. Next thing we're gonna have to do the same exact thing, but we need to bring infused coal up from storage. Looks good, I see tin bars. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's bring up, let's bring up the um, infused coal. How do we wanna do that? Let's think this through. There could be another, um, Another smelter, right? Or multiple smelters. Probably like you know, something like that. And like that could be smelters. Those guys would have power thermic generators and storage hoppers. So I wonder if we should come straight up into the ceiling. And then bring that stuff down. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. It's going to have to be to the side. Or we could come straight up the middle and then split. Hmm. What about, bear with me here while I think this through. Uh, this is going to be temporary. And we basically need a belt that's going to feed into this hopper. But two, two or three blocks back, we're going to need the same exact thing. Another belt coming down. So what makes sense to do? We could also do something like this. Boom. Turn table here. And then drop these off. Hop up so I can see. Do something like that too. If we could just get coal maybe just right into the middle here. It have a second level belt that's got the uh that's delivering the infused coal kind of along here with turntables along the way. Oops, that was unfortunate. We need this. Kind of like that. We're scaling. We're not going to branch out there just yet. Then we wouldn't need this. Might look a little cleaner rather than coming down from the ceiling, but we're we got to feed this belt somehow. Could bring coal up right next door. And can I climb up this wall? We got to think about the other side too. I was thinking we could eventually just put a turntable here in order to bring tin over to this side if we wanted to scale up. What about...
be right on this hopper. Can we do something like uh let's see. Bear with me. Up this way. Can't really do. Oh, I guess I could do a turntable there. And that would allow. Um, we don't need to do the turntable right now, but that would allow me to send this coal, infused coal, over to this side too. Not symmetric. I'm bringing material up on one side and then feeding it over to the other. I guess we could have done it right straight in the middle here if we wanted. But uh, I just want to get it running. I think that'll do it. Let's get our second logistics grommet put right here. Find that thing. On the hot bar, I think we should have. Yeah, we got two more. Let's put it there. It'll be easy to find. Because it's right next to the tin one we just did. Belt on top of that guy. Again, that's going to be our infused coal. <clears throat> I can see one issue already, right? This belt is grabbing from this hopper. Don't really want that. Effectively feeding this other hopper right now. Uh, is that a problem? It is. I think. We got like a merry-go-round thing going here. Not what we want. Could move all this back a notch. Or I could come straight up from here. That would be... Just moving this guy forward. I'm going to turn on my flashlight so I can see a little better. Or I'm going to hit the uh, wrong key. Turn on the light. Comes out, I was just using it to build against. This would be. Yes, sweet boy, it's so snug. I hate being so close to the wall, but again, once we set this up, we're not going to be playing around in here too much. To this guy here. Not sure why it's not showing up. It's showing up as an invisible block. I think that's probably a bug. Let's hop out of here and come back in. See if we can reset things. You can see I'm in some nether world here. This is a bug. Unless they're punched a hole in the wall. Punch a hole in our room? No. Verifying groom requirements. Located air block in wall. I... No, oh, it's... Is there a hole somewhere? Let's see what it says now. Okay, room working. Okay, I think we're back to normal. Let's see if we can get that block again. Turntable built. We want it right here. And this is for scalability. We don't need this now. We're going to leave it. I don't see it. I'm getting invisible blocks here. I think a bug in the game. Now it showed up. Okay, let's hop up and see that from above again real quick. I can turn off my light. Let's 
confused call comes up, hits a turntable, feeds this whole setup, goes down, feeds more, goes down, feeds more kind of thing. I think that'll do it. Let's see if we can get infused coal into this grommet. Head back down. Right there. Let's do the same thing we did before. Put down a couple of these guys. Belt going into it. Now we gotta go find coal. Here is infused coal to storage. We don't want that. We want the coal that's coming up. Okay, infused coal from storage. This is the line we want to tap into. And bring it over where we need it. So how can we do this clean or somewhat clean? If we track this direction. We're going to have to wiggle around that belt. We could turn table here and then immediately go up to the ceiling and then head over. That might make sense. <clears throat> see I think that's gonna be our best bet let's um put a temporary block here just so I can build on it I'm gonna rip this guy out turn table here we'll see eventually if these things scale <laughs> uh, these feeder lines especially for the infused coal we may need more and then from here, I want to go up to the ceiling. I guess I should switch and use the cement blocks, reinforced concrete blocks. That's not quite what I want. That is. This belt goes up. Boom. Boom. Not all the way. That far down. Oop. Hmm. Go straight along this way and then go over. Let's do that. Rotate this one. We're on that belt like this along the ceiling. Belt there. Boom. Put a sign here so we can keep track of what's what. Use coal to in melting. There it goes. That is it. Everything else is hooked up. I don't think we need to worry about the infused coal storage. We've got our nice little sign here telling us it's good. Let's head up. Just verify that we've got coal, infused coal coming into our room and then we got to figure out, we got to get the ingots back down into stuff. <laughs> we got to get the ingots Consolidated and then pushed back down into storage somewhere. And we will have tin mostly taken care of, and we'll just have to worry about, you know, finding new tin deposits and extending our mines. I think what we can do, let's bring this back. Again, this design, we may change this over time, but I think this is going to serve us well, at least for quite a while. And why don't we send it down... Somewhat symmetrical, maybe. Or like here. Oh, oh, that's not a good sign. We haven't tunneled through this yet. 
We may have to hop down there. Um, let's do it. We want to get down to level 30 and then kind of head straight ahead. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to hop down. Oh, we are good. Okay. Not bad. Um, let me mark this. Nope. This is going to be... Uh, we can belt this. Let's fix this little section. Bad spot, actually, for this belt. But basically, we need to get this in. We can run along the ceiling. This is going to be 10 ingots. Catch this belt before I forget. They're 10 ore going into storage. See, we got a bunch stored up. But again, it's slow to unload here. We need more of these, um, these guys. And storage output ports. And there's upgraded ones too. I think they take power, the upgraded ones. It's a little bit of a bummer. Because it means we're going to have to run, you know, belts probably of infused coal to power these things. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Now we're trying to find a home for ingots. I think we should maybe do that here. Set up storage for 10 ingots over here. Uh, let's see. Do I have storage blocks on me? I don't. Yeah, 23. And we spaced these ones, what? Was it like 25 apart? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 apart. Let's do, let's go with that same dimension. So 20 from this corner. One, two, three, four, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think that's 20 right there. Boom. I kind of one more time. Man, it's hard. One, two, three, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, we need to go one more, I believe. Or twenty spaces in between. Rolled right by it. All right. Looks like we got a coal deposit. We're going to have to work around somehow. I may have to power drill that thing. That. Come on. Not what I wanted. Let's grab some of this right now. I don't think it's a big deal because we've got so much coal. When you power drill like this, I don't think you get anywhere near as much ore as when you run the mining drill. Could be mistaken, but that's my understanding. Alright, that has been dispatched with. Let's patch up the holes we made in the ground and the ceiling. our first corner and then what dimension were we going with these
So 15 wide, so 13 spaces in the middle. Bam. And of course, I'm going to have to bust through some wall again. <clears throat> and let's see. What's the dimension this way? Is it the same thing? I guess I don't need to care since these are going to be lined up. Just need to burrow a bit through some of this mess. So I can get excavators over here. And if we were on like uh, the 20th floor or, or minus 20, I could just throw a pyrothermic generator down and fuel up a work floor excavator, but I can't do that down here. I gotta route the power using the transmitters. Grab a little bit of this out. Good enough, I hope. Let's cut through over here. Oh, maybe it's not. It is not good enough yet. That's all right. Be this way. Looking for my storage block. It's probably, is it right there? I think so. Yeah, that's this one. I believe. That lined up? Yep. And we need to do the same thing for that one. And we gotta drill out here a little bit so we can see it. Big old cavern here, it looks like. If I can bridge this. Right. Boom, boom. Something like that. Just trying to get the four corners of, uh, what our big storage array is going to look like. We can get the least of the dimensions placed. Then we'll fill in a little bit. Don't have enough storage blocks to fill this whole thing, for sure. Uh, there's a hole here. We want this right, I think right here. Boom. I think that's going to be our storage array for in ingots. Is it too big? I don't know. Is it too small? I have no idea. But it seems like a reasonable size to store up ingots. Then let's do... Let's start working on the other part of this. Which is the input side. So we've got like a run of one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that. Then we're going to have to head up and get the, um, the inserters. Mass storage inserters or hacker guys. Okay, five here. One, two, three, four, five. And we know we got to chew up a lot of bunch, a lot of this. A lot of bunch of this. We'll send.
I'm putting the storage here just because it makes logical sense. We've got the ingots. I mean, we've got the raw ore there. And we can store the ingots here. Uh, try to keep a little bit organized. And then we know we got to go pick up these two guys. Mass storage stocking ports and output ports. This side, I think, is the input side. Don't have the little ports, but I can put the belts down. One, two, right? And then we have hoppers. Boink, boink. Belt, belt. This one, I think, goes this way. A little bit of lag, it seems like. We want to set it up kind of like this one. Take a look and see how that worked. I can't match it up <laughs> very well. So let's take a stab. One, two, three, four. Four diagonally. One, two, three, four blocks diagonally. And then right to the left of that is where we come up. Go do it. Two, three, four. This right here. This is really where that belt's going to be. Do this just. This belt comes down. It's bringing ingots down. That's basically what's happening here. And then we got to worry about the prioritization and everything. The splitter, I got to go get one of those. Let me just open this area up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course, there's something right in our way. I'm gonna power drill that out of there for now. Took one too many. I mean, let's count this. There's nine spaces between the floors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good. This all out. That's a piece of coal. I'll leave it for now. That is. Path up to getting ingots blocked. Crazy about that. Hmm. Let's put some lights up there, torches. more of this. Right, so we're starting to break through here actually. Let me take out some of this.
we're going to copy what we've got going on over here. Right? There's our path down. So we... Is this guy... We're not actually sending down tin yet. This hasn't been punched through either. Because we're using tin from our local... Our local tin mine down here. And this belt. Looks like I punched another hole in here. I'm going to fix this. Let's head up and just see if we can find these lights up on the uh, third floor. That's where we're going to need to bring the tin bars down into their storage array. Up we go. Pay closer attention. <laughs> See, this is where... Oh, no. Okay, this is... In from storage. Coming up. That's the output of our tin. The input is... Oh, man, is it through all of this mess, I wonder? That's the output. Is the input way back here. I'm going to just take a little, little bit of this back and see if we can see right along here somewhere. Other thing we can try to find this stuff is the, um, the hollow base mo mode. So I'm going to hit K. See if we get anything. Loading in, loading in, loading in, loading in. Okay. Ooh, a little hard to reason through. I think this is the over here. This is the tin supposed to be going down into storage. That's what this port is. Right? We could even put a sign there. Uh, but if we head this direction, we should find the one that we want. We should see those lights. In fact, I think I'll get out of this mode. I think we should come up on those porches that I placed. Get on this way. And I'll need to get excavators over here for sure. I want to do all this by hand. Let's just see if we can find it. And then I think we'll call it an episode. And I will get this hooked up between episodes. And then we'll have our little tin smelting operation underway. And then maybe next episode we can look at sending tin ingots back up from storage. Into a new room on the minus 20 level where we turn tin ingots into maybe the lightweight, these guys right here, lightweight machine housings. We use these for storage blocks and uh, we want to put down a lot more storage. So that might be a good place to start. Okay, am I seeing light over here? That's us. There's that coal that's kind of in our way. And down there, you can't hardly see it, but there is a belt. I may power drill this out of here. So we... Yeah, there's our belt. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think we'll leave it here. Boom, I can send that up. That's going to be our ingots going down. So on the third floor here, we need to <laughs> clear out a bunch of this dirt. Bunch of this rock's got to be cleared out. And then we need to, um, yeah, clear out basically all this stone underneath our room. There's our room up top. And towards the back of the room, you'll remember, 
is uh, the grommet. I think we did we place a grommet up there for the tin ingots to come down. But between episodes, I'll probably try and get this hooked up. It's going to involve a lot of excavating. It's going to take a while. Probably try and move this excavator over. In fact, I can do that right now. It looks like I got a clear path. I'll show you how I do this. You've seen it before, but super quick. Once you've got your power routed, place a block, place the excavator, block, 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 excavator, block, 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 excavator, down we go. And then pull these out. And that will do the job. And since we've got these as reinforced concrete, there they will stay. And then back here, it looks like I've got one strong transmitter and two weak ones. That's probably more of an accident than anything else. Um, doesn't matter. I can leave it. But we've got the turret anywhere where we've got these power transmitters or power storage blocks. We've always got a turret. And then we always set these to wait for full battery. Just to preserve the battery that the turret is on. Make sure that it's always got energy so it can fight off the camo bots. We're down at level 30 here, so we don't need to worry about Minox. Nothing's going to take um, any ore or ingots or anything off our belts. We're safe here with belts. We just need to protect our power transmitters and power storage blocks. Surprised I don't see any camel bots down here. There's a ton on level 40, minus 40. Don't see much of anybody down here. But yeah, let's wrap this episode here for now. This is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on this journey. Or just Craft Evolved. A lot of fun, a lot of work. <laughs> There's a lot, at least with this design, the factory design we've got going here. Um, but it should scale pretty darn huge. Want to get this ore stuff going, but yeah, cool game. Hope you're enjoying it. I will see you all in the next episode.